What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, you see the title of this video, Roman plus his tag team partner, God himself, defeat the demon, Finn Balor. We got to talk about this. The ending to Extreme Rules 2021 was interesting. The match itself was enjoyable. I enjoyed their actual Extreme Rules match. And I have to put Extreme Rules in quotations because, um, let's be honest, this pay-per-view was far from extreme. And even that Extreme Rules match wasn't really extreme, but it was, it was, you know, definitely, I guess, on the extremish side. They need to change the pay-per-view name. Extreme Rules is, is not extreme like it used to be. So they, they need to get rid of the pay-per-views name itself. If they're not going to have extreme stipulations, they need to get rid of it. And one match for the entire show should not constitute the show being called Extreme Rules because one match is extreme, extreme-ish. But that's neither here nor there. But the match itself between Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, was enjoyable. We was enjoying it live on stream on the In The Club Space. If you was there, man, I appreciate you showing up. It started to get really weird towards the ending of the match. Of course, the Usos were going to get involved. And they start beating up, beating up on Finn Balor. Finn Balor starts getting the upper hand on them both. And out of nowhere, Roman Reigns just destroys Finn Balor. I mean, obliterates him through the barricade. We've seen this spot time and time again. But it's always a good spot when the camera is fixed closely on the person. And you don't see the other person come out of frame. Out of nowhere at full speed. It was a dope spot. Everyone's down. The Usos down. Roman Reigns down. Finn Balor down. All of a sudden, the lights start flickering red. And I'm confused. I'm like, what's going on here? And then you see Finn Balor flopping like a magic carp. To the beat of his intro, the heartbeats. So every time you hear, doom, doom, he's, doom, 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 I'm like, are we, are we, we, we really doing this right now? And then he, he just, he gains all his demon powers and rises up and starts destroying everybody. There's this red light throughout the entire arena and he's kicking everybody's ass mind you while his theme music is playing i want you guys to understand this i don't think i've ever seen a situation where the wrestler's theme music is playing through the match i'm thinking so you're telling me his theme music is giving him the power and the strength to tap into his ultimate demon form. Basically, Satan was out there in Finn Balor's body whooping the bloodline's ass. I mean, he was beating they ass. The smoke started creeping in ringside. I'm like, yo, what, what's happening? Now, mind you, this is the first time Trill Billy and Dub have seen Finn Balor in his demon form. They didn't know what was going on. They thought this was Kane's little cousin. You know, they're trying to get back into wrestling. And I'm telling them, this is a form he taps into very rarely when he needs to. And when they saw this happen, they're looking at me as if this was supposed to be a normal thing. And I'm telling them, yo, I don't know what's going on. This has never happened before. They've never booked him like this in this form to do this. I, I didn't know what the fuck I was watching. I, I wasn't mad. I was just confused. So he's beating the hell out of Roman. Roman's in the ring. He puts him back in the ring. He goes up for the coup de grace for one millisecond. I'm thinking, are they really going to have Finn Balor win this way? 
And the entire time, I'm still confused on what the hell's going on. You can't see from the camera angle what's going on because there's smoke all in the ring. So you're like, you you know he's up there, but you're like, why is he not hitting the coup de gras? Then all of a sudden, the lights come back on, and the top turnbuckle for the ring is just completely on the ground. Finn Balor holding his knee, and I'm like, did someone screw off the top turnbuckle while he was up there? I'm thinking Paul Heyman did something, right? I'm thinking maybe he did something. But at this point, I knew the match was over. He's selling the knee injury, leg injury, whatever. Turns around, eats the spear, one, two, three. I'm like, all right, cool. The camera zooms in on Roman. He's like, what the hell just happened? They show a replay from a different angle. I kid you not. The turnbuckle magically falls. Like, legitimately just falls. And I'm like, what? They cut back to Roman. He's pointing up as if he's pointing to God. Thank you. That's the only way this could have happened. And I'm literally in my mind, are you serious? We mentioned it on the live stream. So God interfered in the match and saved Roman Reigns Universal Championship. And then people in the comment section, in the live stream comment section, were saying, so is God heal? I don't know. <laughs> don't like I don't know. I don't. Because Roman's a heel. So I don't. I, is God heal? I don't know. But apparently, Finn Balor pretty much embraced Satan himself so much the guy said, no, 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 playboy. We're not having this. Top turnbuckle just magically falls. I want you to understand, people have been going to all the top turnbuckles, middle turnbuckles, the entire night. And then all of a sudden, the demon is at his maximum power and it just falls. I know they set it up that way. I get that. But I want you to understand, if you're going to have Finn Balor pull out the demon character, one, you don't need the extra theatrics to it. I think that's a little bit too much. We're not in the uh, pandemic um, Thunderdome anymore, so you don't have to do the the over-the-top visuals to sell something now. You don't, you don't have to do that in front of a live crowd. It was already a good match. Without the extra lighting and him flopping like a magic carp. Like, you don't you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? The match was good on its own. You're going to have him bring out the demon. And you're going to book the demon as this unstoppable force. And then you have him lose to a ring technicality. A ring defect. Where the ring just magically... Top turnbuckle just magically falls apart. Then what was the point of even booking him as the demon? You could have just had him as Finn Balor. Or you could have had something else happen. Or don't even book him as the king, demon king. Just book him as Finn Balor or something. To keep that, that side of his character strong. Because it made no sense. I'm sorry. You can't tell me that made any sense. Who is Finn Balor to blame then? Is he supposed to blame the people that make the like set up the rings? Is he supposed to blame God himself? Who is he supposed to blame because he lost? Because of that. Just technique. What you're saying, if the ring would not have just randomly, top turnbuckle wouldn't randomly just fell apart, he would have won the match. Because of his theme music. Because he got all his powers from the theme music. He got stronger. He no sold that barricade spot. He was ready. Like, I don't, I don't know. And to see my friend sitting there like, yo, what the hell is going on? And I'm just like, yo, I don't even fucking know. I, it was it was interesting. A lot of people did not like that ending. I, for me personally, I was not a big fan of the ending. I didn't hate it. I was just, 
I just thought it was too much for a match that was already good. We knew Roman versus Finn Balor was going to be good. We knew it. We knew Finn Balor wasn't going to win. Because right after the match, they're already promoting for Brock and Roman Reigns. You knew this wasn't going to be the outcome of Finn Balor winning. You didn't need the other stuff. That's all I'm saying. So comment down below. Let me know. Is God to blame for what happened last night? Is God making his return to WWE? If you guys remember, I believe Vince McMahon was feuding with God at some point. That was that was a strange time in wrestling. I hope they don't allude to that. I doubt, but one can only think him pointing up to the man above is, is a testament to say God was in his corner the entire time. And all jokes aside, God is always in your corner the entire time in everything that you do so yeah <laughs> all jokes aside but yeah um appreciate all love and support road to 60k <laughs> appreciate y'all kicking in with me <laughs> i'll see y'all on the next one <laughs> peace